Good morning, everyone. Pastor Dan here filming from my house today because it's still a little bit slick out there, although the temperature is about to get above freezing. And so it, uh, I should be able to get out of my house without slipping around too much here in just a little bit. Wanted to give you a few, uh, a few updates and while I get my coffee ready this morning. See, this is sort of my morning setup here uh, as I as I drink my coffee in the morning. So first of all, want to thank everyone who logged on with us online uh, for morning prayer this past Sunday. I know it's not as good as being together for sure, but uh, what a gift technology is that we get to share time together even when we are apart. And so, uh, so thank you for that. Speaking of getting together, we are going to be back together again this Sunday, of course, although we do have a little bit of a winter storm coming uh, coming later this week, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem for Sunday. But when we do gather together on Sunday, I know, I know, I know, um, this is not great news, but Guilford County has reestablished its, uh, its mask mandate, and so therefore when we get together, we're going to have to be masked. Uh, in the sanctuary and in the uh, uh, and in any of the other areas, the grove, etc., as well. The the uh, greenhouse is considered an outdoor space, and so we don't have to mask in there. We'll just stay separated and let the airflow do what the airflow does. But as has been our policy from the beginning, we are listening to the council of our of our county and our city on this, and so. Um, so I know there's varying opinions, but we just ask for a lot of grace. Uh, we're trying to do the best that we can to navigate this. And no matter which decision we make, there's going to be folks who disagree. And so for the sake of unity, let's, uh, let's do what we need to do. Let's put on masks where we need to put on masks and, and pray diligently for the end of this pandemic. Okay. So I'm going to sit down here at, um, at my little home desk. This is, uh, it's kind of fun to have you guys here. Actually, this is my home setup here where when I work from home, you can see my uh, this is my little table that I work at in our in our sunroom, uh, and so when uh, when I get to be at home, this is where I sit. This uh, this upcoming Sunday, January twenty third, we will be having a special service because Bishop Steve Breedlove will be here, uh, which is very exciting, and we'll be officially named the cathedral, and uh, I will become officially your dean uh, of the dean of the cathedral here, and so uh, it'll be a very special day for me, and I hope us together as well, and for the church um, as we uh, as we look forward to the next chapter together. There is a potluck after the the service, and so just to remind you, and make sure I get this right here, if your last name begins with A through M, then please bring a large dish to share, um, and if it begins with N through Z, then please bring a large dessert, and make sure you label your utensils and stuff if you want to make sure you get those back. We have little gremlins that steal our utensils around here. Our feast day this month, uh, as we continue our rhythm of feasting together uh, as the cathedral and as a family, is on January 25th at 6 p.m. It is a feast of the conversion of St. Paul, and Dr. Jason Myers will be preaching that night, too, who is kind of an expert on Paul as well, so we'll look forward to hearing him. Uh, and then we'll have a potluck after that as well. This is all about food right now. So January 25th, 6 p.m. January 30th is an important meeting for us where we have our annual meeting. This is when we have to do some of the business aspects of what we do as the church. And so we really need all our members to come uh, for sure. And if you're not a member, really, really want you to be there. Uh, and so hopefully you'll be even more interested in becoming a member. Um, but we'll do a little bit of business things, a lot of updating you on how things are going, how things are changing, where they're headed, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, celebrating what, everything that we can celebrate as well, honoring the folks that we can honor. It'll be about an hour long that's it um, and so uh, you won't you won't be subjected to a long boring business meeting that's not how we do things around here at Redeemer uh, so a January 30th right after church so one of the important things that will happen at the annual meeting is that we need to affirm and confirm those who have been nominated to serve on the vestry for this upcoming year as well. So we have four people who have been nominated through the process of we've got nominations from you all and we uh, went through a process of discernment and such with the vestry as well. So here are the four, uh, the four people that are up for the vestry this year. Glenn Wise, Tressa Chich. Estella Muriel, 
and Patrick Lineberry. So if you have any reason why you think that these folks should not serve in this role, maybe you look at 1 Timothy 3, Titus 1, and see qualifications for overseers, and, and you feel like they are something that you need to let us know about before they step into this really important role, then either talk to our senior lay leader, Will Stanley, or to me, uh, and let us know your concerns. We're also happy to receive uh, messages saying, yay, we're really excited about this person serving too. That's fine. That's that's fine as well. But really, we want to do the work before the annual meeting if there is any objection to these folks so that we can deal with that appropriately as, as well. So that at the actual meeting, we are just affirming and confirming these folks into, uh, into this role. We also are very excited. We have an ordination service coming up on February 6th at 6.30 p.m. That's a Sunday evening, February 6th at 6.30 p.m., where Buddy, uh, Buddy Hokut, Melissa Lukowitz, and Leah Wall will all be ordained to the diaconate. That means they'll become a deacon like Deacon Ryan, Deacon Ashley, Deacon Jared, Deacon Stephen that we already have here at the church. We're going to have some more deacons, which is very exciting as well. So we do hope that you'll come out to that as well, uh, 6.30 p.m. on February 6th. Okay, so finishing up here real quick, pray that you uh, were all safe and sound in, in the snowmageddon that we already had. We'll pray that this next round misses us uh, as well, or if it hits us, at least gives us some good fluffy snow to be able to play in uh, this time. So we love you. We're thankful for you. Truly, you're not alone in all that we're dealing with together as a culture and a society. You're, you're working through that uh, and living in that as the church. And so um, we're praying for you daily and pray that Jesus does great things in you and through you this week and pray that we'll see you on Sunday if not before.